G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy Podcast. Today, our podcast, like much of our content, is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Manscaped are the world leaders in male grooming products and they've recently launched the Lawnmower 4.0 Body Hair Trimmer. As you can see, it's got a little light on it to illuminate your nuts as you're shaving them and it's got a 90 minute battery runtime, so you can watch- Is that some skin safe technology I see there? It is, it's ceramic bladed so that you don't cut your nuts as you're shaving and you can do it for up to 90 minutes, so that's like two and a half quarters of a final this final series. What else does Manscaped have in their performance package this season? Well, if you'd like to stay fresh, you can use their reviving crop mop ball wipes. Mm. If you'd like a clean start, you can use their crop cleanser ball cleaner and body wash. I could go for some of that right now. If you're into foot stuff, you can use their foot dusting foot deodorant to make that area smell a bit more pleasant if the smell isn't part of your kink. We're trying very hard to drown out the dog. And after you've done all that and you need a finishing touch, use their refined cologne by Manscaped. This Father's Day, if you're looking for a great gift from your dad, you can get 20% off that product and free shipping by going to manscaped.com and using our exclusive code TRUEFOOTY20, all caps, all one word. You get a great discount, free shipping, and you'd be supporting the channel. Bloody earth. Let's get into the video. All right, we'll move down to Richmond now. Ho ho, who they, thought we'd be covering them in this podcast? Yeah, well, they're not the only team that I wouldn't have expected. Four finalists from last year will uh, be in this, um, <laughs> this podcast as well. Uh, including my points, unfortunately. But Richmond finished 12th. They had nine wins, one draw, 12 losses, and a percentage of 97.9%. Uh, what, do you, what positives come to mind for Richmond this year? Maybe, like, some of the kids have sort of... Like, some of the depth guys have sort of had a chance to have to play those bigger roles. So mm. when they're healthier and better next year, they'll be better for that growth that they've sort of had. Mm. That's probably the one way you could spin it, really, but... I feel like they've had moments where they've looked like Richmond this year, and uh. that's about it. So uh, they beat the Dogs earlier this year, um, and that seemed like a Richmond-like performance. We watched that game, and we're like, oh, that's about right. GWS, they came from behind from memory and beat them by four points. And at the Dreamtime game, saw them up close. They were far too good for Essendon, who ended uh. up making the finals and beat West Coast the week before. Um, an absolute giant Just that fourth there. quarter though But even that Essendon game The Showtime game you to, Was that fourth quarter More than anything Essendon was sort of like mm. It was that fourth quarter Where Richmond Where Richmond Where they got yeah, away yeah. It, The whole I, I felt Richmond were in control That game though Probably but it, yeah. it, They weren't 40 points better But it was mm. a good quality contest It wasn't like Two average teams uh. Um but anyway, that's, so that was the biggest positive for each <laughs> uh, Yeah, so got games into some, some kids, but I, I still think, understandably so, as a team that's been contending, and like other clubs, including my own, the quality youth isn't quite on par with other teams. Yeah, their youth that's fair. is pretty low. That's fair to say. Definitely. Um, but they're going to have a good draft hand this year. Here's a bit of a positive spin for you. This is their first final series off for like five or six years. So there's yeah. a lot of old boys, old tired bodies on that list mm. who have been playing deep into September or deep into October last year that have not come up this year. And the positive for them then is Dusty Martin. Okay, so he's got a kidney injury. That's not ideal. But guys like him have an extra month to recover, which could set them up for a big year next year. Yeah, it'll help them next year, I think. Yeah. The negatives are... Um, Performance on field. Yeah, generally. <laughs> generally, their football has been negative. General sucking. <laughs> um, is that Kenobi's brother? Uh, negatives are two wins and eight losses from their last ten. And uh, Josh Kennedy's goal really cursed them. Oh, yeah. Which is great if it didn't happen to us as well. <laughs> uh, it's their worst run since about 2014. Uh, they missed the finals after going back to back, so an ob obvious negative there. And injuries crueled their um, their best players, so uh, not best players, sorry, their key players in uh, obviously Dusty Martin, Hawley, Prestia, Noah Bolter, and uh, Lynchy was down for patches. Yeah, Broad was another one. Um, yeah. You're really huffing away on that vape, aren't you? Oh, absolutely, <laughs> plenty of juice. Is it a painkiller for you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you've, uh, your knee injuries uh, flaring up. Yeah, mate. The old trick knee. Uh, only four players on Richmond's list played four games. Uh, four, uh, sorry, every, only four players on their list played every game. Rewalt, Graham, and two others that are escaping me right now. It uh, doesn't really matter. That's, that's a really low number. So they had issues with continuity and availability of their, their players, and they have that more of an excuse against comparing someone like a West Coast. Um, we did have a lot of injuries, but I, I think... I'll say your health was pretty cooked. Yeah, but our form got worse when our players came back, so I don't, I don't think we can rely on that excuse, whereas Richmond probably can a little bit more. 
Uh, and there's just some fatigue as well when you've been, you know, top level performer for so long. They needed a motivator, shit year. Yeah, yeah. Um, so their draft hand is pretty good this year. They've got four picks in the first 28, 7, 16, 26, 28. Um, are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> You're just massively smashing that. I'm getting what's left in it. Yeah, all right. It's the last bit. Okay, no, it's all good. I just thought you were in incredible pain and not telling me <laughs> or something no. like that. The green whistle, baby. Yeah. Uh, their off-season strategy. Uh, with where they're at, do you think they top up or do they draft down? in a hypothetical world where there's players on the market they could trade to improve. I thought they would have tried to stick their fingers in the chair or ring a bit more. Ew. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, that phrasing probably wasn't the best. Why do you have a habit of saying these things in the most disgusting way? <laughs> Just the vernacular that comes to mind yeah, at the top. Yeah, geez. Um, yeah, but right. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. I don't know why that's the case. So if Chera hasn't really... I th- the thing I heard was money. They didn't want to pay him what he's okay. getting. Which isn't unreasonable. Well, if you accept that the Tom Mitchell rumours were true, they must be willing to pay someone a bit of money. Uh-huh. But maybe they don't deem Derek Terror as worthy of that cost, yeah. which is conceivable. Mm. Um, I think this is a year where they should top... Uh, so, should just hit the draft. Um, I think it's... It wouldn't be dumb. Like, it's pretty yeah. smart. Like, they could do with some more top-end kids. Yeah. And I don't know if there's anyone on the market that would, like, other than a chair off, um, who would improve them straight away. Like, yeah, I, I, I think they need a good quality midfielder to mm. tail up that midfield progression along. Yeah. But if none presents this year, maybe just go pick seven and hope mm. to pick up the best midfielder in the draft. And sometimes those guys can help flag uh, pushes anyway. I graded them an F. Do you agree? Big old F. Yeah, big old F. There's a few teams in here with um big old Fs. Yeah. They're not quite a troll like Collingwood. But no, that's right. A big old F. 